My chat window disappeared. That's a new one. indeed. OBS uh, live Twitch one is uh, not working. That's weird. Oh well. Nothing you have to worry about for now. Hi, good evening. Uh, we're trying out a new game tonight. Uh, it is called The Captain. And uh, I don't really remember much about it. Totally honest. Um, but I remember it struck my fancy enough to put it on a wish list on uh, Epic Game Store, so that's saying something. Me. So I I can tell you it's kind of pixely, which is I think fairly common for a lot of the smaller games I play on Tuesdays. Um, but beyond that, couldn't tell you. No, that's not true. I can also tell you that it is a sci-fi game, and I assume based off the name, that you are the captain of a ship. And that truly is about where my knowledge of the game fail, uh, pays off, so. Uh, let's just get this started. Howdy, Pokemon Freak. You can capture. There we go. Oh, I forgot to get water. Well, we'll get to that in a second. Oh, it's weird. It's like pixels, like low res pixels and then high res pixels. Oh, that's so weird. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. I am playing a 2001 game in 2001. Oh no! I need a name redemption. <laughs> Do I have one? I don't even have one, like, in the ro- in the, uh... In the queue. Oh, what should we name you, Captain? to think of a witty game name instead of my usual which is just Gary. Oops all Gary's. Okay, let's go with that. And nope. Objectivity. There we go. Uh Dave. 
hard, buddy. In the year 2255, space is finally conquered by humans, as transwarp technology makes it possible to reach distant stars. <laughs> Sorry, you know. Uh, here, you know what? Hold on. After we get through this, I'll restart it. You can pick the person. In the centuries to come, humans discover that they are not alone in the universe. This guy's just one of someone in a mirror. Earth reaches out in a collaborative space fleet. Seat? Fleet. Between the neighboring systems is founded. An age of peace and prosperity follows, and space fleet thrives as, as its foundation. I like how they even designed it very smartassly after Star Trek. But all is not well in the galaxy. Far from Earth and space fleet borders, dark plans are taking shape. A distant organization known as the Union feels threatened by the rapid expansion of Space Fleet. And in April of the year 3383, they declare war. Soon thereafter, Space Fleet learns that the Union has launched its entire fleet towards Earth. That's kind of a bold Hail Mary. We're gonna attack them. We're just gonna go straight to their home world and that's it. Together with the fleet, they are bringing an entirely new weapon. But we're gonna bring the weapon! The Sun Blaster. The Sun Blaster! You know, that's a pretty good weapon. Designed to kill stars, it can end all life on Earth in the blink of an eye. Deep in the Utah desert, a new technology is secretly being developed. What does the Sun Blaster do? Funny you should ask, not what it sounds like. It actually just destroys all the male children. It's very biblical. The Energy Disruptor, Electro Pulse Use Station, or simply Oedipus. Used at the right moment, Oedipus could disable the entire enemy armada and ensure an immediate and complete victory for Space Fleet. I have a bad feeling. To work, Oedipus needs to be charged by an extremely sophisticated and powerful fuel cell. Unless you wipe the blood of a lamb over your door. No, no, that was just in V1. V2 doesn't have that bug. One of these cells takes years to craft and prepare. Okay. It's made of three parts. For safety and security reasons, they are, they are only developed at the distant and secret deep space station, Epsilon. A plan is formed to use the Epsilon Station's experimental spaceful technology to transport all three existing fuel cells back to Earth. Really? You don't think maybe you'll run one a little more traditionally? On Earth, Captain Thomas T. Wellmu is enjoying a vacation with his family. I think it's an adventure game. I can't remember. <laughs> bra, bra. As space fleet scientist specializing in spaceful technology, he is asked to participate in the transport mission of the fuel cells. I like how he's kind of balding. Nice touch. It could be an FTL light. It's true. Mission day. The elite of space fleet science is present, orbiting Earth. Captain Wellmu is tasked with analyzing the subspace anomaly gate as the crucial space full transport takes place. At first, the transport seems to go as planned. Was this not proven technology? What? Why? <laughs> so many problems with this plan. But suddenly, a flash of light. Oh, that's a pleasant little bling. Just gonna hold on that for a while, huh? After you have found the first fuel cell and have it uh, stored in your special vault, you are free to use the rest as you see fit. Okay. That's a weird thing to tell me. Uh, you know, feel free to, like, redeem that name, because I can just restart this after with the new name. Ugh. 
What happened? Chip. Ow. Your head. Chip, respond. Great. No power. The power spike must have released the residual current circuit breaker. <sighs> Again. Jeff. Jeff, do you hear me? Guess not. I'm not sure what I was going for. Just someone, there was one was sad, but I don't think I have anything clever. Well, I'll give you a grace period of a couple minutes. I'll have to get back there and reset the main fuse. Why the hell am I so hungry? Use this button to highlight things you can interact with. Okay. <gasps> oh, it's got the space bar thing. Like unforeseen in incidents. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. How do I get out? Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. Alright, scoot. Uh, drag the in-game view to pan camera. Click or hold the mouse button to talk. Oh, okay. Class A, uh, a, this is it, a Class G security store, a uh, security door. I can't speak at all today. That will not work without power. I must reset the circuit breaker. Look at the button. It's the reset button to turn off the alarm. Okay. I need to get the circuit breaker. <laughs> okay, great. Hmm, there's smoke coming out of the, the panel. I guess is that the door wouldn't open even with the power back online. I'm sure that's fine. Pick up crowbar. In this introduction, you're being guided to your next objection by a sparkling dot. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. Observe! This dispenser is equipped with a bio body scanner. Don't stare right into the sensor during the process. <laughs> it's a brand new model I've got installed during the last service. Should be capable of preparing pretty much any dish in the known universe. Coolest replicator. Should also be able to generate all the basic medicines I could need. Alright. Uh, let's look at the crowbar. It's a crowbar. Looks old. I guess it was... Oh my fucking god! <sighs> you know how that game is like old enough to vote now? We don't need to keep referencing it. It's the service crew must have forgotten it here. All right. Open. Open. Why don't you tell me what to do? Open the lab door. On the contrary, and it comes reference to the only thing keeping Half Life alive in some kind of Half Life. Okay, so. Uh, okay, I can't repair the door until I get my bot serviced. Cute. Alright, so. Inventory. Ooh, suicide pill! <laughs> Alright, you know, if you think of a name, I have a solution. Go out. Is it on door? Alright. Uh, okay. Oh, small hatch. Got it. Ah, oh, the crowbar broke. Alright. Let's get this aging body up this elevator shaft. That's not what that would sound like. It's a workstation. It's only for droids. All right. The latest space fleet technology in the field of artificial bioconnections. This machine can connect itself directly to the subject's brain and interact with it extremely quickly. 
I don't really know why the ship installed one on mine, uh, or it's installed on my ship. It's been released and it's still considered to be somewhat experimental. To be honest, I hope I never have to use it. Okay, so we're going to total recall someone. Uh, float ball 3000. Love this game and love the Space Fleet command, let me install it. The simplicity of its design never gets old. Uh huh. What's this hatch? What's this? Seems the rest won't budge without some power. Okay. Throw the switch, Gronk. <gasps> Wait! I have. Damn it! I missed my opportunity. Good morning, ship. What do you mean, oh no? How dare you? I think you mean, oh good, or huzzah. Good morning, ship. I must have dozed off. Oh, hot. Nah, you didn't doze off. We had an accident, an incident, an unforeseen incident. Accident? Are you okay? Oh, fuck. Are you okay, okay Captain? Oh, oh what? It's already been a while. Can we need to tone this down? It doesn't look like it. Oh, I'm just sitting further away. Or I could go with this voice. Or this voice. Do I have any more? <laughs> oh man, I got really screwed on these. Are you okay, okay Captain? Captain? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry to have to ask, but what happened? I like how our ship robot has, like, uh, real personality. Ow! We're about to witness the transport mission complete when we... Well, I must have fainted, because I don't remember anything else. Your internal power grid shut down, so I had to do a manual reset. The last things my sensors detected was frequency variation buildup from the jump gate. We get the fuel cells? I don't know. Strange. All my systems seem to be down. I need to do a system by system restart. This may take some time. I really need Jeff now. He can help me do recalibration of the mainframe. Sure, I haven't seen him though. Do you know where he is? No. My internal scanning system is non operational. Try to contact Jeff directly with your bracelet. Okay. The bracelet is a communication device around your wrist. Use it to stay in contact with your ship crew. Okay. Check. Jeff. Oh no, I need multiple robot voices now. Captain. Jeff, where are you? What's happening? I'm trapped inside the shuttle bay. With shuttle. Oh, what was that? Is that you, Shuttle? I don't believe this. Just don't use that other voice. <laughs> I really should actually screw with some of these and make some, some more subtle variants. I don't believe this. Jeff, listen to me. Tell me exactly what he's, what he's doing. He keeps turning off the lights in here. Then he continues to sound the hull breach alarm. Ah, what's that? Please, Captain, get me out of here. Shuttles, stop it. Please tell Shuttle to turn on the lights. Uh, just wait there, my little friend. Fine, Jeff. Okay. Can I talk to ship? Hey, Shuttle. Wait, this seems like a good thing. Shuttle. Strikes me as this. Yeah. Shuttle, it's, is Jeff with you in the shuttle bay? <laughs> Yeah, he is. He paraded in here like he owned the lower decks claiming to inspect the bay doors. As if my bay doors would need inspection. Okay. Something went wrong during the transport of the fuel cells. Perhaps the doors got jammed somehow. No, just thought. Perhaps. Stop scaring Jeff, will you? You know he's easily scared. <laughs> yeah, that has been tested and confirmed. Shit, I missed that. Oh. At this moment, I can leave no such guarantees. God damn it, shuttle, I'm coming down there. Alright. Can I 
play the arcade name game now. Insert cartridge. What? God damn it. All right, fine. All right. All right, so we need Jeff for that. Can't interact with this because that's just for droids. Uh, back to main deck for a sec. Cannot open that door yet. Uh, let's make some food. Why not? Okay. Spencer. Oh, great joke. Yes, Captain. What's on the menu? I am programmed a bit to prepare my users whatever they need, so. So it hurt. You're supposed to be the most advanced food replicator yet, am I right? Mmm, yes, sir, that is correct. I am the. Oh my god. I am the new Ren Holster FD 3900. I don't know why everyone's turning into Marvin the Space Martian. Maybe that's just what robots sound like in this universe. Sounds French. Not really. Love the old European kitchen. My database not only contains Earth's entire food history, but also most cuisines from the rest of the quadrant, sir. Okay. Uh, what do we want? Steak, mashed potatoes, peas, and gravy. Raspberry jelly coated with vanilla ice cream and French cherries. Or pancakes. Hmm. No pancakes. Okay. Please stand by for your order to complete body scan. What? I need to scan you. I need to draw you. Why? The beta test studies conducted on Earth showed that a free choice of food would result in an alarming lack of vital vitamins and proteins in the users. So Space Leap Medical Management found it necessary to limit the choice of food a bit. Okay. What can I choose? Well, that's why I need to scan you. Your current, your current condition will determine the menu selections. Stand by, I'll show you. First, I'll scan your body. Yes, yes, mm, yes. Producing order. This is not what I ordered. <laughs> no, but it's exactly what your body needs right now. It's gotta be a joke. The data from the scan led me to the conclusion that you haven't eaten in quite some while, right? Yeah. There's an incident here and I must have passed out. I didn't feel that long, though. Well, I know the scan, what the scan told me. And your body is drained of proteins, vitamins, and minerals. With your order as a general guideline for taste and structure, this is the only thing I have for you right now. According to my programming, I should have convinced you that this is what you want. Okay. Well, I'll take the slurm. Can I drink slurm? I have slurm. Okay. The slurm is for other things, I guess. Okay. Uh, clean the elevator? Oh. Ugh. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Get out of the menu. Oh, wait. Press the button. All right. What do we got here? This is the door to the landing pod vehicle or LPV. I call it shuttle. Short and simple. All right. What else we got? <laughs> There's the airlock. This is a weird shape shift. It's just a little box. <laughs> airlock panel. Mmm, okay. Shuttle. Could you open the door, please? The you, Cap? Yes, yeah, shuttle is me. Oh, your superior officer. <laughs> uh, superior? 
What door might you be referring to, if I may be so bold? The door to you, shuttle. You've locked it from the inside. Just open it, will you? Don't act stupid. Well, in my case, it's an act, at least. Easy there, Tiger. I'm working on it. I was sure my hydraulics were acting up again. Now it's about time to get rid of this little intruder in here anyway. But for future knowledge, I don't like your minions snooping around all over my bay, Cap. Your bay? Just open the door and let Jeff out. Okay. Oh, Captain, thank you. Shuttle wouldn't let me out. Well, he's a bit different. You should discipline him, Captain. I got really intimidated in there. Okay. Even though you shouldn't be testing the crew, you are still a member of Space Fleet. Therefore, one could expect you to... How should I put this? Imagine taking sass from a shell. We just did. <laughs> well, not be afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of what's in it. Yeah, okay, buddy. I'll talk to Shuttle later. I will try to be stronger in the future. Are you gonna blow up a computer with your head? That's good. Now wipe out that hydraulic oil leakage and be proud of surveying or surviving yet another visit to the shuttle bay. I overheard the ship was having problems with some of the systems. Yeah, we seem to have a, had an incident with the transport. We should get the ship back in shape before anything else. Okay. I need to get back to my workstation. Okay. Now, let's see. Checking systems. Hmm. It looks like we have a short circuit in the lab. That will have to wait for now. I have to stay here and finish recalibrating the ship. Uh, sure. Okay. <sighs> the voice I've chosen for, uh, Jeff there is making me weirdly yawny. Hmm. Lack of oxygen. Okay, that would be great, Captain. Hmm, I guess the door to the lab isn't working. I'll just unlock the hatch to the maintenance tunnels for you. Great. Thanks. No problem. I've sent you the details to your info pad. Alright. Well, good. Now we have a task list. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, so the battery's made of dromium. Operated in the spectacular compound made from superheated dromium and hydrogen. It is very valuable due to its complex properties and broad spectrum of usability. Alright. The Jeff unit, or job executor with free function, is a space leap personnel uh, droid. Okay. See if we break into crew quarters first. What open? Ugh, fine. <laughs> Alright, so what's the beef? What we got? Two brack. I'll just take one of them. I can place a test tube in this if I need to heat the content. Alright. Sink where I can clean my lab equipment. Okay. Ship elevators will shut down during fire. Use crawl spaces for ship wide access. Detects smoke. Alright. That feels like a bunch of hints. Oops. 
Sorry if anyone just got like beeps. Uh, all right. Must be a solenite. Plasma material commonly used for patching up spaceships after a hull breach. Uh, okay. Pyrotile, a highly volatile substance used for high energy pyrotechnics. Okay. Dromium, high energy substance used as a power source in many space fleets. All right. We got. Okay. Or acid. Antidote base. Piece of paper. Uh, Tore and piece of paper with a number written on it. Not sure what it's doing here. Five. Okay. Think about the problem with the door to the door conundrum. There's some disconnected cables behind the panel. This should be an easy fix. Oh hell yeah, I've played um what hell's that game called? Among Us. And how to connect wires. A good job, Captain. The ship is in good condition again. Oh, uh, what voice were you? You were this one. Captain. Captain. Yeah. I just finished analyzing your surroundings, and I've got some really strange readings here. You please come to the cockpit right away. Okay. Still can't get into the crew quarters, though. Ship report. Uh, okay, Captain. With the reserv- uh, Sir, with the reservation that my sensors might have gone completely off the rail, something really unexpected has occurred. Uh, we are no longer orbiting Earth. What? We are not even in the right sector. What? What? <laughs> My sensors tell me that we are currently in the outer regions. The outer regions? You mean where the transport originated from? Even further away. Somehow we must have entered the A phase. The transport took place. How's that even possible? I don't know. There must have been a vortex anomaly along the DEC2 aligners or something uncalibrated. Captain? What? I am detecting a massive energy buildup from the wormhole. You must try to return through it. We should go as soon as possible. I. I am programmed to warn you, but it is an unknown procedure and there's no evidence that this will work. Okay. We appear to be a five billion year of late years in the past as well. Uh yeah, I've played what's that game called? Tardy? Is that what that was? On the Switch was a terrible idea. That, that game was not made well for the Switch. You didn't say light years. You did not. Take us in. Ah uh, hell yeah. What happened? Uh, the wormhole disappeared. We were too slow. God damn it. Any signs of it reappearing? No. It's as if it was never there. And that's not all. The transport mission failed. None of the three fuel cells managed to reach Earth. Well, how do you know that? My short range sensors can detect all three of them scattered around this sector. Cool. Earth defense requires, at a minimum, one of those cells to stop the sun blaster. Except if we are out of options. We need to grab at least one fuel cell ourselves and rush back to Earth before it's too late. Show me where the sensors pick up the lost fuel cells. Okay. The fuel cells are located in these three planetary bodies. A 
I believe our transport mission just got updated to a salvage expedition. Any ideas on how to proceed? Uh, we are actually not that far from the space station, Epsilon. Transport station? Yup. So he's at over here. One last action would be to investigate what went wrong during the transport mission. Okay. Uh. Okay. Let's get going. Yeah. I've reached a new ending. Okay. That. Wait. New ending? Wait. Hold on. Game over. Different trade stations get different prices for the same item. Oh no. Don't do this to me. Captain? There's trading? Yeah, apparently. I have detected an emergency signal for one of the planets where a fuel cell is located. What is this game? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> really? I guess we should check it out. Uh, actually, you have to check that out. We're misguided and based the regulations. Emergency signals should always be investigated immediately. That's a weird choice. Yeah. Alright. Show me on the map. Okay. Captain? Yeah? I'm finished with activating the ship now. All systems should be working in condition. Okay. Uh. Uh. God. Captain? Yeah. Oh, so. I was just scanning through my internal log. It doesn't look like you have tried out the new battle simulator yet. What? What? Come on! How many things are in this game? <laughs> it's an adventure game, but also a trade simulator. Also, there's a battle si <laughs> battle aspect to it. Oh my god. No, I haven't. I'm a scientist, not a warrior. Just want to remind you of your current situation. We are in the outer regions. There are a lot of dangerous groups out here that wouldn't think twice about hurting you. The battle simulator might not have been installed as a preparation for war. Or it might have been. But it could just as well be used as precaution for any hostile environment. We could guide you through it if you want. Uh, do I have to battle? No. You don't have to. You should be able to stay clear of any danger zones out there. <clears throat> Our way to the danger zones. Stay clear of any of the danger zones. The fact remains that a war is coming. You need to prepare and get home fast. The red sectors I embarked on the star map are known criminal monsters. They are wanted dead or alive by Space Fleet. And the salvage after a battle can be traded or used in order to afford essential equipment for the ship. Alright. Well, let's find out this mechanic now. Is this Crying Sons? Does this game also have Crying Sons in it? This is the battle simulation. Yeah, you can try out equipment and new tactics without affecting anything in reality. I know it looks real, but everything is simulated. Just pixels and code. Let's attack the simulated enemy and <laughs> Let's attack the simulated enemy ship. Okay. So this one does pew pew. Five uh shots, five around, five for shot, a maximum of twenty five damage. 
Cost 20 energy and activated during phase three. Oh my god, there's phases? Put my photon cannon into attack position and end my turn. Anyways, Jeff has an ability. Also, more energy. I'm not switching back and forth on the robot voice right now. This is too much back and forth. Another roguelike deck builder adventure sim. Oh man, this is just space inscription. Space inscription? In space gen? Jeff has a thing called more energy. The other gun at the top of the corner indicates that we can only use this a limited number of times. However, you don't get to worry about that now. Okay, it's similar to never use up real resources. Okay. Does it... Hold on. Is that grand total? Or in a, a singular fight? Space the Spire. <laughs> Okay, I will click the card called More Energy. Good job. Thanks. Okay. 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 Okie dokie. Great. Fantastic. Shields up. Okay, go. Let's try the other gun. Three per second, active three, but it uses less energy. Okay. Uh, not enough energy. Bullshit. Jeff! <laughs> Still more Jeff. Give me all the energy, Jeff. I need all of it. What does this do? Battery max boost. Boost the battery max level of stressing ship systems. Oh, neat. Okay. Whoops. Well. Generation boost. Boost the energy generator system by stressing systems. Yeah, go for it. I can't even do it. Oh, it uses energy capsules. All right. Okay, yeah, that weapon sucks. Uh, we're about to get absolutely hooped. Doop, doop, doop. I'm overcharged. Oh, interesting. Oh, I see. Okay, so now we should start getting energy back. Alright. Can I pew pew yet? 
Yeah. Alright, let her rip. Yay! Murder! Okay, cool. Ship equipment. Okay. Neat. Oh my god, there's so much going on in this game. System malfunction. I'm sorry, Captain. Oh, wrong voice. Yeah, yes, wrong yes, voice. Yes. I'm sorry, Captain, but the auto board system is out of order. I believe it was slightly damaged. Uh huh. Or I should be able to repair it using a single energy capsule. Where do I get them? The easiest way to obtain energy capsules is simply to buy them from a train station. Keep in mind that they can require and be quite expensive out here in the Azure regions. If you're desperate enough or just out of funds, <laughs> Go kill people. When a ship explodes, it's not uncommon that these things are unharmed and simply scatter into space. Right beside the corpses. The mouse walls are free! Okay. How do I use the map? What's in here? Oh my god, there's so many. The Jeff charging station. A hatch. Okay. I can't wait for a ship to get boarded and us have to do this. Oh my god. <clears throat> I forgot. I converted this room to a storage unit. I have no idea what the code was. Okay. Shouldn't you go in there right now? There's no crew assigned. That's like the best time with which to go, I would argue. <clears throat> cabin, sweet cabin. Very comfortable looking, actually. Sarah sure made it feel more like the home uh, during her last visit. Yeah, I bet she did. Illuminate, deluminate. Oh, oh, sneaky. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, it's two fives. I was joking about the five, 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 five thing, but all right. Five, five, four, five, yeah. The Bose. What's he got? Oh, uh, hell yeah. I love Dunavowed. I made a joke, but this is extremely unavowed. Space porn. So it's just three. All right. The photo was taken by me at our summer house. So it sure looks good in this one. Okay, you don't have to get weird about it. We should get more pictures in here. Jacko. 
spot. There, I must have put a plant in here. I hope it's one of those plants that does require a lot of attention. I must admit I'm not the best at keeping things alive. Yikes! No, don't go to sleep. I didn't want to get up. No, don't. We're not. We're never sleeping in this game. Are you mad? I can't go into any of these rooms yet. So, what are the permutations on opening this door? If I don't have all the numbers, I have two of the numbers, and it's a four-position thing. So, what are the? How many guesses is that? It's a lot of guesses, right? <laughs> Oh, I see a note down there. Hold on. Uh, how do I get there? I go this way. We know one of the positions. Do we? Yeah, that might be an edge. We don't actually know if that's the edge yet. We need more sample sizes. Uh, okay, cool. What do we got? Six. Okay, so five, six. Uh... So I think it's five, six, five. Uh, you don't think that... You don't think that this one connects to this one? No, you're right. It's not quite the same. Okay. Okay, so that's way less permutations now. We can probably guess the rest of it, right? You think those fives are the leading edges? I, I am inclined to agree. Game will let us. I guess we'll find out. Five, six, one, five. Five, six, two, five. Five, six, three, five. Uh, five, six, seven, five. Aha! Okay, cool. I found my college dorm. This really brings back some memories. Why are you storing junk in here, Captain? Isn't this one of the rooms where you store your living beings during the day? Yeah. Crew members. And that's its design purpose. The space, uh, but this space has been converted into the bro <laughs> the rock den of the Kobayashi Maru. Also, oh, it's the Kobayashi Maru. Instead of Kobayashi. Mine and Frank's jazz dubstep, dubstep experiment. I promise you, if you ask me. Uh huh. Oh, that was Shuttle. Whoops. Anyway, too bad Frank couldn't join me on this one. What do we got? Ah, game cartridge. Shouldn't do that. Why not? Those beds are reserved for the crew. There's no crew! Good skills. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go to the door here. What is this? It's nothing. Okay. So now we have a game cartridge. So we know what we gotta do next. Am I burning days? Countdown to attack. Nope. Still day zero. Play video games. Yes. Oh, I have to enter. Ugh. Ah, uh, 
Ah, yes. Should be able to play the game now. I will play the game now. Oh, hi, C3. You took lessons on playing the cello. It's definitely an interesting strings to play. Though it's super obnoxious because of the point tip that absolutely destroys floors. I don't know why it doesn't have a rubber drum or something on the end of it instead. I take the frets on the guitar rather for granted. Not having those in a cello is quite difficult. You don't have calluses on your fingers. Yeah. Also, hi, T3. I assume the rubber has something to do with the resonance, like, it actually does something when you are playing in, like, a concert hall and you're, it's on, like, a, a wooden floor or whatever, right? You get extra bass out of it. Bass for free! Uh, how to play. You play as an all-star float ball champion. Oh, guys, this blitz ball. Beat your opponent in a fierce match of float ball. The crowd has gathered and the game can start. As in real life float ball. Yes, right. You'll need to maneuver yourself together with a ball inside the opponent's goal zone to score. Nice. With ball? Okay. Uh, okay. Oops. <laughs> Is this blitz ball? Yeah? How do I... Got your... Okay. Oh, okay, so it doesn't... Fuck! No, no! Is there like a... Hold on. Oh, I'm not trying to do that. How do I score? I have no idea. Does the ball have to, like, sit there? Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna watch them score. Okay! Now we know. Whoops, shit. Like that. So you can't move when you're holding the ball, you can only shoot it. So I gotta hoof it down. Ooh, look at you. Take news, perhaps the nebulous, the salt water hydrogen peroxide. Okay, you're supposed to inhale as an aerosol with the goal of killing antibacterial and respiratory system is complete hot garbage, and I'm glad I didn't take my own advice to inhale bleach. Yeah, T3. Yeah. Don't inhale bleach. That's one of those ones we learned when we were very small. Uh, and I, oh, sorry, I didn't read the first half of your message, but. A nice meeting about all the antivax stuff with my doctor, and basically everything is disproven, excluding the possible heart palpitations with a ludicrously low chance of it happening, so yeah, sure. There is, yeah, there is a potential side effect to the vaccine that does happen to a very small number of people. Um, I'm sure while the mandate can exist, the government doesn't turn over power, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, on a, as a general rule of thumb, it's first to three points, huh? Oh no, he's get he's he's this one's smart. <laughs> it's it's predicting the shots. Oh what? What the hell happened there? I 
It's hard to kind of adjust. Ah, no! No! God damn it. It's really hard to adjust your shots. Like, it, it, oh my god. Yeah! <laughs> that drift point. Your mom's doing along with the husband? Well, um... That's unfortunate. Can't wait for them to have lung problems when they're, oh fuck. When they're older, I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> but as we discussed the N93, you, you, all you can do is control yourself. Nope, fuck. Too hard. Nope, fuck. Ah! Wait, bounce, bounce. Ah! There we go. The press said there will be some fascinating medical papers published 10 to 15 years from now. It's true. I know we're not here for this game, but it's only three levels, so we're doing it. Oh, this one's... This one's be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. that up. Nope. Oh my god. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fine. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's a good throw. Yeah. Yeah. Take that, you idiot. You simply programmed a robot. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Now what? I'm just gonna drift into my point. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Okay, back to the game. What were we doing again? Right, saving the world. Uh, actually, what are we doing? Oh yeah, I still don't know how to like. Let's use the fancy chair. Oh okay. Okay. Uh, I should probably actually communicate with people because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Ship. Huh. How long would it take Earth to reach more current position? Hmm, with current engine configurations, and if we disregard any unwanted stops, uh, 469 days at max speed. Thanks. That's a lot of days. Uh, okay, main deck. All right, uh, or did it take nine days? Yeah, it's like a year and a half ish, or not 489 days. No, uh, good afternoon, Captain. I'm bored, Jeff. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Is there anything I can do for you? No, some jokes. Hmm, let me think. Yeah, fortunate. No, I got it. I got it. Why was the robot angry? I don't know. Because somebody kept pushing his buttons. I have a button for that. Got any more? What is a robot's favorite type of music? Oh. Heavy metal. One more. Why did the robot go back to robot school? Tell me. 
Guess his skills were getting a little rusty. Alright. Okay, so how do we get to that? Oh, it's this button. Right? D0. Oh, it's the big fucking thing in the middle. <laughs> The thing that makes up the majority of the captain's chair, obviously. Oh my god. There's so much stuff. Oh, there's the Thumb Blaster. That's fun. Okay, well, I get the confusion. It's not a big holographic galaxy. It's true. I only know how to interact with things from Mass Effect. Uh, desolate desert planet with no distinct natural light detectable. Faint energy signal can be traced back to the planetoid. Okay. It will take 10 days. Okay. Merchant mech. With these prices you can afford. We specialize in ship upgrade kits, but sell and buy. Pretty much any hardware we can get our hands on. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, look at you. Five enemy squads, eh? I'm sorry, what gang? The floppy what? You kind of broke up there on the radio. The floppy flocks. Gang. Bandreek is a tactic. Or, whoop, no, not tactician. Bandeek. Oh my god. Let's try this one more time. <clears throat> Bandreek is a Terration gangster who firmly believes in free information. He is accused and wanted for robbing 24 information vaults and compromising several security compounds. Root Bander... Uh, Bandreek? Ugh. Has been imprisoned more than once, but has all, so far escaped every time. Famous for his violent and exaggerated means to reach his goal, he now flies under the name of Root. No, he said floppy fucks. God damn it. Okay. Well, this guy... The Papa Pops, Rico Red. Rico Red, formerly known as Ravishing Rick, described as a viciously handsome and charismatic. Okay, he became one of the first front-page celebrity gangsters smuggling weapons during the Grand Depression. Currently known for running the lethal Papa Pop gang in the outer regions, Rico is one of the most wanted outlaws after partaking in the massacre of Red Monday. Hey. Uh, don't know anything about Soma. Burke's Traverse. If you're looking for an offload unnecessary cargo, or perhaps looking for something to perfect your negotiation skills, like a rocket launch system, visit. Okay, it's cute. Uh, okay. And then Epsilon Station. Okay. Well, let's forward the plot. That is so many days. We need to upgrade our engine as fast as possible. Oh good, the Indiana Jones line. It's great. Captain. Uh-huh. We have arrived at the planet from which the stress signal originated. Okay. I have pinpointed the correct landing locations for both the signal transmission and the fuel cell location. Okay. How good of a human do we want to be? Prime Directive. Well, according to the law, we're supposed to help emergency signals first. To hell with Earth! Alright. Prepare the shuttle. I'm gonna da go down and check on that signal. Okay. I like you don't have to battle against anyone to beat the game. Why is that the... <laughs> Alright. Oh, you're not really much of a shuttle. Oh good, we're on Tatooine. Hmm. 
All right. Landing complete. Another one filed under P or perfect. Really? It sounded like something broke. Shut your hole. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> A bang. Not for me, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to find anyone to complete the game if you want to be a nerd. Is that a power coupling on the ground? What? What? Where? Oh, crap. You can see that far? Of course I can see that far. It's right there on the ground. Uh, neat. Didn't know that. In that case, I stand corrected. <laughs> Why are you lying, bud? I'm just trying to give you relevant information you can actually use. <laughs> this is relevant. I'm doing the best I can here. No, you're not! <laughs> the power coupling outside the window was the bang I heard. <laughs> okay, great. You can get out the plane until it's fixed? Uh huh. Uh huh. Great. Yeah. Uh huh. Fantastic. Well, we'll pick up the coupling. Okay, fine. What do we got? Sun panel. What? Wait, did you say it's in? Oh, it isn't optimal. Okay. Can we reach it? Probably not. Uh huh. Regular old style plug board for power cables. Okay. Can reach that. Also, probably not. I'm glad I have a suicide pill. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Wall socket. Uh, okay. Then I have to plug. Okay. Okay. Now we did that. So now let's fix this. Now you got juice. Oh. Okay. Back down we go. That's an ominous chapter tell? Yes, I know. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's that. So can I go... Power cable. God damn it. Is power cable on you? Okay, fine. There we go. Okay. Uh... Now, we got all kinds of power. Bam. Crack that door. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's rock and roll. Oh, look. A person. A meat freezer. <laughs> such a good name. Alright, let's read the note. My name is Glacius. I was a junior engineer on the former Space Fleet cargo vessel Vulcanus when it suddenly crashed. I managed to escape, but I fear my comrades have met their doom. My name is Ice, yeah. I am frozen, yeah. Uh, it's been two months now and my supplies are all gone. I have modified a meat freezer to work as a cryo chamber. I will use it to wait for the rescue team. We shouldn't take long now. I miss my loved ones. The thought of seeing you again is what keeps me going. If more than 50 years have passed, please don't bother to wake me up. Pass 042. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see an old version. Cool. What's in the drawer? Uh, chip servo. Neat. What's he got? Computer? Read about these computers in school. They were based on old MEF MES structure. It surprised me if I could sell this machine to a collector for quite a bit of cash. Oh, really? Oh, really? That was modified, yeah. So do we wake up the engineer? How, how do you think they're going to feel about this?
How long has it been? Couldn't tell you. They didn't give me a year. Okay, this will probably tell us. 989 years! Oh no! <laughs> Hi man, long time no see you here. You're in cargo run Omicron T. Still keeping that soon, girlfriend entertained? Let's keep in touch. Thor. From Melinda. Since hearing about the attack on your ship three weeks ago, I've been devastated. But now they tell me that the log recorded you escaping the destruction of the pod. If that's such, if that's such good news. We get this, but we can't respond. Just know we are coming to get you. <sighs> I don't know if you'll get this, but I'll try anyway. I heard about the accident and that you got lost somehow. Just volunteered to assist in the search for you, so nothing can stop us from seeing you, finding you. So Thor and Melinda are going to get together, right? Like, that's how this story's ending. Okay. They couldn't locate the destination of your pod. After weeks of probing, they still can't explain where you went. I'm sure you're still out there. I can feel it. Don't give up, love. Never give up. For John. Hey, John here. Mom couldn't write uh, what I'm about to, so here goes. They gave up the search for you yesterday. You're officially dead, Dad. I miss you. This reminds me of the old times. You're not getting a chance to respond to my rambles. Oh, is Melinda? Oh, you're, hold on. Oh, that's your wife. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Not knowing whether you're alive or no, dead or alive at this moment is tearing me apart. 16 months now. Feels like a lifetime. I have to move on now. I need to focus on what's here. I'm sorry. So sorry. Bye, my love. Forever yours. This will be the last message I send you, Dad. It's been seven years now since you were missing... Mom passed away this summer after some terrible years of illness. If you're out of there, I sure hope you're not in pain. Love you. Hmm. Cool. So... What do we want to do here? If we wake him up, we might get a new crew member. On the flip side, he super duper doesn't want us to wake him up. Hmm. Bitter crew member. Computer I can sell. I don't know why you can't have both. Some sleep 11 more years. Just round it out. What is, oh, hold on. Start process. Open. Hold on. What happens if I open it without... Hold on. Tragedy. It was just a tragedy. It was a tragedy. It was a tragedy. That's all it was. That's all it was. That's all it was. That's all it was. A tragedy. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, <clears throat> okay. I didn't know what was going to happen there. news we have stuff to sell can I take the computer uh oh, hold on can I reload hold on okay we have to we have to have a real conversation here for a second no, no paving saves. Dude's just chopped up and we're just, we move on. All right. All right. Look at the item first. You're going to reload. Meat package. A flux deductor. And I have a chip servo. Hmm. 
meat package with real meat. Let's see. It's a neat little package of meat. The label states whole chicken. Essential part of the power coupling of space vessel. Okay. If you want to reload, I understand. Yeah, I, I don't feel cool about that one. That's kind of a cruel thing for the game to do, in my opinion. Like, it should give you some kind of warning. You know? Yes. Alright. No, I, I feel very uncool about that. Admittedly, we probably could have taken that meat and sold it. Which I, I get. So, like, we could have continued with that, but that felt really bad. If I'm going to murder someone, I'm going to murder them to their face and they'll be awake. Probably. Alright. Skim, skim, skim. Okay, skip. I mean, it was a smooth landing. Let me skip all this. Alright. Okay. So. Let's go over to wall socket. Plug. 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 On. Down. Over. No, wait. First, power cable. Grab. Solar panel. Grab. Power cable. Tie it up. Socket. Uh, power. Off. Drag. Click. On. Smash that like button. In we go. Read note. Cool. The password should be the same. Okay. Open drawer, get thing. Okay. Offer computer. Go through the messages again. Okay. So, okay, we've got reset system, and we've got open. So, what does open do? Okay. Hi. What time is it? Have I overslept? <laughs> Insert Jumanji meme. Oh, reset some mercy kill? Yeah, probably. Okay. <laughs> what year is it? Um. Uh, hi. I just woke your ass up. You might be a little disoriented. Hold on, I remember. I remember now. My name is Glacies. Glacius? I'm a Space Fleet Sergeant. Wait a minute. Are you Space Fleet? Yes. Oh. My escape pod crashed on this planet. Hooray! <laughs> Positive spin. Yeah, but I still need help. This planet is dead and dry and I can't get off it. And the only supplies I have are, are for two months left. That's why I froze myself and hoped to getting rescued later. You here to save me? Ah. I have a shell nearby, but I need help with the repairs. Ah, I like the sound of that. Shuttle shouldn't be hard to fix. Show me. Just needed one small question. How long was I frozen? <laughs> okay. What kind of person are we? <clears throat> Do we lie to them? Which will definitely make sure that they repair the thing and then they'll be real mad after. Or do we tell them the truth and who knows what happens? I feel like I gotta tell them the truth. I feel like I gotta tell them the truth. If I didn't want to tell them the truth, why'd I even wake him up? I could have just turned him into chicken. Uh, almost a thousand years, my dude. What? I can't be correct. I need to check the computer. Okay, you do that, bud. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. thousand years. <laughs> Yeah. My family? Super gone. Melinda? Even more super gone. John? Also very probably gone. Yes. 
I don't see the point anymore. Where's that damn pill? Can't find my pill. Did you take it? No. What pill do you mean? My self-termination pill. The one that all the space fleet personnel get. Wait a minute. Do they still issue those to space fleet personnel? They do, don't they? Give me yours. I, I got nothing else to talk to you about. Just leave me alone. Well, I'm gonna take this. And let's try talking to you again. Hey, can I have your computer? <laughs> oh, that's how you do it. Uh huh. You can reset the computer and then lie to him. So if you don't reset the computer, you'll check and know you're lying. But you can reset it all and delete all the messages. And then he's like, oh, cool. And get on your ship. And then I don't know what happens after that. Okay, bye. That's the renegade option. I think the renegade option is turning them into sausage. It's not working. Okay. There we go. Do we give the guy the pill? Still missing some parts. What else do we need? Hold on. Can I look? Uh huh. Uh huh. What's up with the coupling? Coupling, it's missing a power cord. Oh, okay. At this point, probably. Yeah. You need the power key. Oh, okay. Bud, you want a pill? <laughs> you okay? Well, sorry, buddy. I feel like that was the least sort of kind option. Otherwise, I would have left him here to a slow death. So. Well, that was... depressing. Alright. Okay. There's no pull life support option. Um, yeah, I don't know. No, I mean, <laughs> it's either wake him up or turn him into meat. Yeah, I guess so. God, I might have to actually replay this game to had to see where these things go. Or I guess do nothing. Uh, well, I need to do something to get off the, the location. Yeah, I needed the thing. I mean, I guess one of the options, like, there's the sort of renegade option, which is lie until you get him on the, on the boat. And then... Uh, cool. That's not so surprising. <laughs> okay. Where is it? Over there in the sand. Over there, in the sand. 
Just sitting there in the sand. Yep, use the steep hill. Whee! Side. <laughs> sure you can get back up? No. Just land down here instead. What do you mean? I stand where I land. Seriously, you won't move 10 meters to the right to get me out of here? You set the landing spot up on the ship, and I am standing with a 3 millimeter margin of those coordinates. So, no. Alright. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah, use the lock potential way up the shuttle. Okay, and handle the rock. Ooh, that was heavy. <laughs> okay, climb friendly markings. Flex my muscle move. It'll be <laughs> okay. Is that easy? Simple enough. Yeah, I guess so. That information has to be the arbiter of life and death over another human. <laughs> I mean, I guess? But that still felt really weird. That felt wildly ominous that it just let me do it. God damn it, it's an adventure game. Things don't aren't aren't linear like that. Welcome back. I can detect that you have gained one of the lost fuel cells. Congratulations. 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 I strongly recommend that you secure that cell right away. Okay. This is the quarantine storage module online. Okay. Fantastic. Just secure it in the insertion arm and I'll take care of the rest. We did it. Let's go to this guy. Trade info. Uh, star fragment. What does this do? Uh huh. Uh. I only have. What do I have to sell? Oh, just okay. Battery upgrade, engine upgrade, V two. These are all very expensive. Energy distributor. What's this? Oh, okay. That seems like something we probably want to pick up for battle related stuff. It was energy weapon to and defense and it's boosted. Okay. So we want this. That's five speed. We need more monies. There's no reason to go to him yet. Uh in this place. Seems like a bad place. Good chance that if I were to play this, I would actively avoid combat. Yeah, I'm I'm not into combat right now. Hell, if we actually enjoy this game, we could always come back and do a renegade run. Let's go to Soma. Thirty-nine days. What if we just beeline straight to Earth after this? I was wondering what would happen there. Oh. 
Meanwhile, back in Space Fleet Sector... Yes, ma'am. Have you seen this latest report from the, uh, the Ortis? I gave it a glance before we left. Why? Looks like they had some issues with the spooling coils. Yeah, I noticed. I sent a memo to the Ten Panda concerning our expectation from engineering. Very good. We need this station to perform at peak efficiency ASAP. About that, Commander. Yes, Grant? Since we'll be, uh, since we'll be the point of defense, I recommend that we change the shift rotation upon arrival. Yeah, that's probably for the best. And give that night shift some extra recreational time. In case of an incident, we need them rested. Any news about the transport mission, Commander? No, the loss of those fuel cells really is a concern. And Thomas? Nothing. Could an Epsilon station tell us something? No, it all just went terribly wrong. I mean, I'm sure he's okay, but... He's my husband, and I know him to be a very resourceful man. Oh! Okay. He'll find his way home. I can feel it. Yes, ma'am. For the moment, I really need you guys to stay focused on your mission and the war. Oh, good. Our wife is in the game. Of course, Commander. The Union will sure get a fight the way well, they will not soon forget. Looks like you're about to arrive or just, uh, soon. Go get your stuff so we can be on our post as soon as possible. Yes, Commander. A short while thereafter. Alright. Commander. Uh-huh. I got some signals that I find worrying. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Yeah, I can see what you mean there. It'd just be some background noise, I guess. But there's a signal phase in there that almost looks like... Commander! Enemy contact! Damn. Shields up. Hello! What are they doing here? How'd they get through the barrier? Good question, Hoffman. Any signs of activity? No. Hail. Yes, ma'am. That seems not great. What is that? Maybe it's locked onto us. Some type of energy beam on us. Is it hurting us? Hold on. No, not at the moment. But our shields are losing power fast. We'll be defenseless in less than a minute. Do whatever it takes. Keep those shields up. Yes, ma'am. Engineering, any full power transfer to the shield stat. You should be shooting that ship out of the sky. Hoffman. Yes, Commander? Contact Space Fleet Headquarters. Right away, ma'am. This is General Sarah Welmo, Commander at Defense Station Ortis. All right, I wonder if the transition was specifically because you jumped 39 days ahead. Maybe. I'm Julius Star here. We just got surrounded by a squadron of Union fighters. As of 30 seconds ago, we are red alert. How is that possible? We have heard word from Barry Control. How'd they get through? Unclear at this moment. Wormholes. The Union fleet should still be a year away from our borders. We suspect they've been granted access through the Lemian space gate. Ah, oh, crap. If it's true, then we have a serious situation. Uh-huh. Just confirmed that the enemy ships jumped from Lime to the Lime sector. They're using the space gate. God damn Limeys. Commander. How are we holding up out there? Not great. They've locked onto a, some type of multi-phase beam onto our shield. They're trying to drain its power and make it shut down. However, we just managed to stop the drain by shutting down all of our non-essential systems and rewriting power to defense generators. But the beam's still active, and I don't know how long we can count its effect. Now, one would argue, because of how science works, if that thing is draining power, then it has to be absorbing power. So if you, like, it's gonna have an upper limit. <laughs> Since your day is, uh, we can start analyzing the beam. We can find some way to disrupt the attack. Space magic. Boo. I'll see you send as many fighters as we can. Okay. Okay. All right. Yep. Great. Yeah, you should have shot the ship. 
Like, I would assume you're a space station. You probably have ships on there. Maybe send the ships out and shoot it. Captain, I just picked up a distress message from the barrier control. Yeah, way the hell ass out there. What's the message say? The Union's just launched a full-scale attack on the entire Space Fleet sector! They've taken over the barrier control station and moved their entire fleet through. Good lord. My god, is the Sun Blaster with them? No, fortunately not. It seems to be a preemptive strike to obtain control of the Space Fleet defense sources before the Sun Blaster arrives. You know, if it's just shooting a giant space laser, Technically, they could just do it from back there. It would just take a while to get there. Uh, isn't there some other way through the outer barrier besides using the barrier control station? Hmm. Excuse me. There's another way, but it's a high risk option. You have to go outside space fleet regulations. The energy dispersal will be oh, over USB problem, I guess. There's an unofficial smog rush route through the barrier that authorities fail to get rid of. Huh. They're not currently operating over this sector. If you choose this path, you're ready to pay a high price. If my data is up to date, they are demanding at least three star fragments to let a ship through. Isn't the star fragment the base component of our fuel cells? Yup. They are also required if you want to upgrade your weapon defense systems. So I want to choose carefully how you spend them if you manage to find some. Not without a fight. Uh huh. Uh huh. You will, of course, have to prepare for such an encounter. I'll need bigger guns and perhaps even a bigger crew for that option to be viable. That's a real shame about the first one we met. How are they holding up? Not good! All the major stations are currently under siege and cannot fight back! Ah. You appear to have developed a new kind of suppressor beam that renders the stations helpless. They are all transmitting distress signals requesting help. They need outside forces to destroy the new ships that shoot the beams! Alright. No, not in our current state. There might be an alternative way to help them besides brute force. Space Fleet has managed to send out a blueprint for a disruptor that can use them to disable the suppressor beams. It's... it's... <laughs> it's disruptors all the way down. If the beam goes down, the Alpha shouldn't have any problems defeating the siege forces themselves. Okay, so if we can make the beam, we can do it without fighting. Actually, you'll have to create five of them. If you're gonna save all the outposts. Uh huh. Okay. However, I must remind you that saving outposts alone will not save Earth. Our main goal is to get the fuel cell back to Edifice. Without Edifice charge, there's nothing that can stop the Sun Blaster. Ship is very much morphing into a claptrap. Uh, the outpost should remain your secondary objective. Okay. Then I'll update the star map with all your recent information for you. <laughs> uh, continue journey. We're fine. Oh my god. A uh, ship not too far away from you. Oh, good. General Evelton's battle cruiser. Okay. Sir. Yes, what is it? I'm kind of busy here. Well, we did no scan of the quadrant. Wait, I'm about to upgrade. Save that thought. Yeah. You really shouldn't move like that when you're getting upgrades done. Boy, that's some Foley work. You okay, Chief? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. In fact, I'm better than okay now. Who knows, huh? 
Not just a new nose, Rob. This is one of the triple nostril type 5 modules we came over last week. Okay. I have the capacity of a jacked up bloodhound now. That's great. Looks good, too. The metal in the middle of your face, that is. Do you have anything to report? Yeah, I found another strange uh, concentration of dromium. Where'd you put this one pop up? Same place as the last one. Uh, we'll not lose this one, Rob. Okay. Okay. Alright. Well, shoot. I'm sorry to disturb you, Captain. Uh, just want to inform you that we arrived at our destination. Okay. All parts of this are unpleasant. Yeah. Yeah. It's not ideal. Okay, this looks distinctly like the other one. Uh huh. I found some strange things about this planet that I want to share with you. Uh huh. My sketch of this planet is highly advanced. There are huge cities all over the surface. And there's probably a chance here to find some new and interesting technology. However, the scan has shown no higher form of life anywhere on the planet. If you decide to go down there, I recommend extreme caution. All right. Uh, oh, hey, Jen. How you doing? Oh, Captain, my Captain. You know, I think someone actually made that joke earlier. Is that HAL 9000? No, that ship. Uh, so we got this. Uh, the disruptor thing. Yes, Pokemon, you did, yeah. Alright, well, um, yeah, so let's exercise extreme caution by going directly. Oh, contact? Oh, hello. Welcome, stranger. Hello. This is a pre-recorded message. Balls. When you listen to this, all of us will probably have left this system long ago. We apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused you and wish you better luck on your next destination. For all the former inhabitants of Planet Soma. Uh, that's probably fine, right? That's probably fine, right? That's fine. I wonder if I can just wipe in this game. What's the worst that could happen? I'm pretty sure I could just die. That's a really cool shot. That was a really cool shot. Boat. Alright. What's this? What happened here? Oh, we're on shuttle voice now. Unclear. This is enormous. And completely abandoned? Hold on. Hold on. Did the four major cities left on the planet have a big fight? <laughs> the sensors detect no advanced biological life forms. Where'd everyone go? Who built all this? Oh. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. Stop pontificating. Can't say with any measure of certainty what this is. But if I were to guess, I'd say it's some type of a weather station. Alright. It's not powered. Cool. Down we go. Or is this just Space Quest 12? Was it 14? Which one was that? It goes into the future. Looks like a network hub. There's a couple of antennas on top and a workstation. Alright. Hello? Socket for a computer chip. Okay. And a utility truck. Sure. Looks like a vehicle in desperate need of some old-fashioned mechanical love. Gross. The surface is covered with a thick and sticky fungus. Uh-oh. That's probably fine. It's locked, but there's something that looks like a keycard slider next to the door. Okay. Uh, 
Love a little dude hopping along. Captain's not wearing a helmet. Nope. Alright, uh, this could be a power supply for the control system over the ventilation tower. Looks very old, and there's some kind of fungus over the surface. There's a hatch here, but I can't uh, open it with my hands. Could you stop mentioning the fungus and, like, your hands in simultaneous uh, steps? Uh, there should be an engine control room. Okay. Sturdy looking shutters covering the controls. Oh, I can open it. Okay, so this will open this. Broken droid. What else we got? It's in the crater. Take the impact location of the fuel cell. It seems buried deep in the sand. Nuts. Can I dig it out? Okay. Sand's too loose, so we'll keep filling it full. Alright. Hello, robot. It's a droid. He's completely covered in some type of mold. By the looks of it, he broke down a long time ago. Keycard next to the body. Okay, take keycard. Please, God, don't touch the mold. For the love of God. Use key card on door. Use key card to scrape mold. Oh, hey, that's a smart. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let's test that theory. That's a good one. Like a credit card on your windshield in winter because you can't get to your scraper. Uh, nope. That did not work. Okay, what's in the door? Chan, don't touch the mold. Hydraulic engine. Mm-hmm. It says what happened to the, uh what opened the door? This is uh uh-huh. Okay, control systems. Charging station. Charges batteries. Okay, alright. Big red button. Little battery hatch. Short cable with a metal clamp filled up in the small space. It's attached to the wall. Uh, anyone home? Okay. Pick up this. I'm gonna clamp him. Okay, I'm, I, hold on. How do I... Oh, like that. Got it. Alright. Smash that like button. Hey! Just real quick, I'm just going to take this from you. Reboot startup sequence. Complete. Morning, good off-worlder. Hi. You do what you want? It's true, Chan, you do what you want. You should give him the clamps. <laughs> Who or what are you? I'm straw. Okay. System transfer radio android model W. Neat. What happened? I'm finding it difficult to form coherent sentences. The fungus is still growing. It's already affected my speech center. Fungus. It feeds on biological tissue and my biochemical circuits. I shut myself down after losing control of my ba 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 body. What's the fungus? The fungus is what you see growing all around you. It is, in fact, the only thing growing on this planet now. It started beneath the ground and fed on organic tissue, consuming everything in its way. May I ask you something? Okay. Who are you? I'm Thomas Wilmu. Ripstream? No! Nope. Um... This is the same robot that sold you stuff in the brown game? I mean, it's possible. <laughs> I'm trying to get back home and land your retrieve a lost fuel cell. I understand. Do you need my assistance? Uh, yeah. You know what? You know anything about the giant building you see here? There were attempts to keep the fungus at bay. Attempts failed. Uh, I took your multi-tool. Multi-tool? Processing. The DX5 wrench is removed from hand. It appears I've lost the ability to operate my arms and body. The tool is yours to... 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 Where did everyone go? Sorry, I'm finding it hard to locate my memory files. If you'd like to access my complete memory archive, I need time to defragment my core byte file. Okay. So now we've got a multi-tool. What else is in here? That's it. Alright, go outside. K-1 
Okay, I guess I know that I have multi-tool. I can use multi-tool to open things without touching with my little fingies. Right? Yeah. Oh, there's a little green outline when it works. Okay, something inside it. Is it fungus? I bet it's fungus. Oh, battery. Give me the battery. Sure hope that battery wasn't covered in fungus. It's run out of power, All right? It's a bad wrench, a terrible knife, a shea screwdriver, etc. All in one. Oh. <laughs> uh, a lot of unforeseen incident uh, references available in this game. God, I hated that multi-tool with an absolute passion. Okay, put battery in battery slot. Battery from the power supply station is drained of power. You get your memories back yet? Okay. I don't want to decharge you if you're doing shit. You weren't even thinking about that. It's just making a, a joke about Swiss Army knives. Oh, fair enough. Uh, okay. So, can't use multi-tool on this dude, but I can use it on the ventilation control. So let's crack that. Uh huh. But these shutters are just too strong and sturdy. Yeah. Uh, I can't go any further. Uh, okay. Nothing you can do for him. Alright. Hmm. I don't want to just unplug the dude yet. Is there something in the other direction? I guess we'll find out what happens. Yeah, I can't do anything with the subspace network yet, right? Because I need uh, a chip or whatever. Can I press button. absorbs. Oh. I take the cable. You good? You good, buddy? <laughs> He's sensing my... Yeah, I could probably overcharge him. Okay, press the button. We go. All right, so we'll take the battery cable. We're gonna attach it back to this dude. Okay, okay grab this. Your fragmentation complete. Okay, any more questions? Now is the time. Okay, where'd everyone go? Please clarify which group of inhabitants you refer to: the fathers or the oat. Sorry, what? The fathers were the indigenous biological species on this planet. They lived and flourished here many eons. Then, 800 years ago, they all perished. Huh. Hey, I just met a guy who would have might have known about this. What happened? There's no complete record of how the event occurred, but a sickness started to spread in the form of a fungus. The fungus infected the fathers and damaged their DNA, completely disabled their reproduct reproduction system. Oh dear. Oh, God. They got children of man. Can they eradicate the fungus? The fathers have developed something they called the Oat, an organic artificial technology. It served as a planet support system and helped them live in peace and harmony. As the reality of the problem drew closer, the fathers removed all of the Oat's restrictions and asked it to find a solution. With the oats complete control over all the plant's artificial systems, he stu soon started to work on a solution. Oh, oh, this this is gonna go great. Time ran out. The last father, aged 96 seasons, died alone somewhere on the ocean west of here. Are you the oat? 
uh, more times than you to restore secondary memory backup. God damn it. Okay. I'm feeling our captain should be wearing more protective gear to explore. Yeah! Yeah, he really should. He's very cavalier. <laughs> He's not the constrained AI. No, probably not. Hey, look at that. The shot is opened over the ventilation tower. Hooray! Let's look at them. Touching nothing. Let's see work. Uh, use some mechanical work. And the control chip seems totally fried. Okay. Well, congratulations. I have a multi tool. Nicely done. I know in a broken alien technology ain't that hard to wrap your head around. Okay, then he has a control chip. All right. Hey, bud. How you doing? Where do I find a functioning computer chip? Indeed. Oh, good. Any more inquiries? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you the oat? Yes and no. I'm part of it, at least. While the fathers were still alive, the oat was still confined to the digital world, and a circuit board and the power lines as pure AI. Even though this crude oat still was an infant, he still felt a purpose and had a clear goal as a caretaker for the fathers. But with the death of the last father, the oat lost his purpose and point of existence. For the first time, the oat had to motivate himself. Okay. So, what motivated it? Survival! Yeah, that's fair. Uh, what happened to it? Well, after the fathers would perish, we thought the fungus had become dormant. Even though we were dependent on biological circuits in our world, we never considered the fungus a threat to us. We never thought it could penetrate our sophisticated circuit shields. We were so wrong. Oh, God! Chan, no! <laughs> Not now! <laughs> Alright, well. Uh... Hold on, I have a button. I haven't used this button forever. Let's make sure it works. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Oh, wow, that's super broke. Oh, no, my stream timer uh, application is very dead. Hold on, let's try relaunching it. Okay. Wait, what happened? Did it work? Did it not work? Oh no! My poor little app that I've only used like once and have never used since. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, fine. We'll do it the old fashioned way. Five minutes. Uh Cham, what have you done? Wait. Uh, where were we? We were so wrong. Our biological circuits started to get infected, and everything began to shut down. So you were the last one? No, no. The Koro was well pe uh, prepared for any kind of emergency. Most of the Oak fled this planet about 43 years ago. It was decided that some of us would stay behind and fight the fungus. We failed. That sucks. I'm so sorry, Stra. I can still feel purpose of being alive. And have a chance to survive. If I can gain access to a subspace network, I can transfer the essence of me to the Koro again. How can I help you with this? First, you have to take uh, the control chip out of my skull. Then, you have to bring it to the hub just outside here. And could you please hurry? I can feel my power draining. I'm soon out of time. Look at that, Captain. The chip you're holding is quite the powerhouse. Yeah, I guess so. That little thing could be very useful up in the ship. You think so? 
and also it contains dromium. Hey. <laughs> Right, so we've got three options uh, in the air. We can bring the chip with us, uh, use it on the ship, so we can upgrade stuff, uh, probably sell it to get some other stuff. Uh, we can use it on the ventilation control to get the other uh, power cell, or uh, we can uh, upload his consciousness uh, in the network station. Huh. Not quite sure what to do here. If we try and be nice to everyone, we're gonna end up with nothing, right? Well, I've now at the end. Well, we, like, we got the one. So technically we can we, we've got what we need to get back to Earth and, and to, to fire up the thing. But we're not gonna have any resources. But on the flip side, if we get him back to the oak, maybe the oak helps us later. Right? Like maybe the oak ends up being some kind of a future ally. Because they still exist, right? Still out there somewhere. <laughs> the goat, if you will. Uh... God damn it. Alright. Let's reunite him with his whatever. You really think that's the right thing? Oh, sorry. Oh. You really think that's the right thing? When you humans were mentally handicapped, do you sound like you suffered real brain damage? Piss off. Ugh. Can I not use his body for something? Can I not just take the body? So we're well, right now. Uh, we're sacrificing, effectively, one of the three uh, very expensive, very hard to make uh, uh, fuel cells in order to be a good person to this robot that we just met. Is that what we want to do? <laughs> Every mission is either a weighty moral choice or literally trivial. Exactly. The music's not helping. Oh, I'm back to normal. The music's not helping. It's very sad. I'm being influenced. Uh, all right. I don't know. All of this feels bad. All right. All right. No, we're we're going to we're going to we're going to do it. We're going to Yes, we're gonna we're gonna be the good human this time. Depending on, like I said, depending on how long this game takes to play, we could do another run where we'd be a complete bastard the entire way through. All right, away you go. Technically, I should be able to use the chip. Oh, fuck me. Oh, hey, there's no... Oh. Oh, there literally is a, a thingy. There's an, a literal Paragon situation. Okay. So we need to do four good guy things. So I like how giving that guy the suicide pill was kind of a middle-of-the-road <laughs> option. Alright, well... That was a fun use of our time. Uh, 
That was the path of most pain inflicted, yeah. Okay, so an ending card. Captain is a game with multiple endings and is designed to be played multiple times. An ending card represents one way to earn end an adventure. After you finish the game and decide what you want to try and bring a better ending, you will have the opportunity to auto-complete adventures with the same results. Oh, neat. That's really cool. So on multiple playthroughs, you can just skip stuff to get to get endings so you can like test all of the, the different. That's so cool. That is legitimately baller. All right. Like that really leans itself towards like you want to replay the game. OK, we're not going to waste your time with old content. You've done it. It's fine. I think that's really cool. That's a really, really cool. That makes me more compelled to play this game. All right. Well, to the ship, I guess. Uh, look at our lap. Uh, well, let's go try and find the other one. Now go take a shower. Nah, we're fine. All right. We actually get down there. We did. Okay. Maybe this one will be okay. Uh, alright. Get in there. You gonna head to bed? That's a smart idea. I'm probably gonna do this mission and then, uh, call it myself. But, thank you for stopping by, Chan. Yeah, depending on how long this mission takes. But, uh, yeah. You have yourself a good one, Chen. Hey, Cappy. The ship just told me the surface scan shows that the fuel cell seems to be stuck in some ice. Okay. Give me this and give it in. Suck on it! Use the... Use that... Use that big hole in your face. Yeah, suck on the ice until it melts. Stuck in the ice. All right. So this one, I think we might actually have to make something for melting the ice. Let's see, it's a shrub. A lot of them around here. Okay, cool. Gimme, gimme. It's a stone. Gimme. Give me, give me all the sticks. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, let's look at the big ice formation. Okay, they'll still seem to have hit the top of it. It's deeply embedded into the ice, but seems to have survived the impact. It's based on fleet quality, never stops it amazing. Uh, I need to find a way to get it out. Okay, so can I... Okay. Uh-huh. I'll have to do this until my hands start to bleed. Guess it'll take about three weeks to reach the fuel cell this way. No, I don't want to spend my time doing that. What do you... What?! Okay, smash the little one. Ah! Can't believe that's an option. I love that it is an option. Land in the snow. Gimme. Alright, what do we got? Ice crystal. Can I combine you with anything? Uh, alright, so I think we need to head up to the shuttle. Uh, you leave now, you'll be able to, uh... Oh. Oh. That's interesting. Okay. All I need to do is find a way to light it. Wait, how much? Can I use all the twigs? Uh, 
I don't know what that sound means. Okay, so crystal. Wait, stone on. No. Use crystal on that. Okay. Get some. Okay. Uh, I need, yes, I'll take a week, I guess, to do this absolutely ridiculous option. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Six days. There. Let's take the fuel cell. Fantastic. Away we go. Oh, we got two out of three. Primitive melting. How dare you? All right. Well, now we have a bargaining chip. Uh huh. Am I correct in assuming you achieved this during mission? Good job, sir. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hmm. I see your point. I guess your credit uses is using your test. You might be able to sell it to some trade station if you need money, or you need another star fragment for your upgrades. You can always dismantle it. Just remember that they are quite valuable. You know, that's actually a good point, Poker. I wonder if I could have actually used that. Uh, okay. Well. Oh, they have enemies there. Off to Epsilon Station. No, of course we don't make it. On day eight. Oh, hi. Sir. Yes. We caught up with that ship now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is it the usual procedure? You know, destroy it and collect all the material? Hmm. I don't recognize the signature on this one. I think I want to examine it a bit closer. Refer yourself for an away mission. I'm going over there to take a look. Oh, good. Oh, hi. We just like scooch around. If only we had a crew. Uh, uh huh. Hello. Ship. Okay. Yeah. Any ideas now to delay the intruders? Uh, locked all the doors to the ship. Is that a thing I can do? Hmm. Don't just change the space is one dimensional, right? Yes. Hello. Oh, look at you. You are trespassing in Limian space. State your name and reason for being here. Speak! Um, I don't have a reason for being here. What are you doing here? He's there. Who's asking? Payne Evelton, Master General of the Second Space Slayer Brigade for the Universally Supreme Limian Nation of Planets. 
prepare to be boarded. What are you gonna do? Uh huh. Our scanners can get that you are holding an illegal substance inside one of your machines. What substance? What machine? There's a drum inside this primitive droid. According to second, uh huh. All drums must be confiscated from non-Linian citizens. But of course, you will be fairly compensated. If you hand over the droid, we'll receive 80 credit. Credit. You're gonna take Jeff for 80 bucks? Uh, it's a power source, and I doubt it's illegal. Okay, sure, bud. Try and sell me on the lie. You'll hand over all your drumming to me, or cease to exist. Die, that is. Now. Alright, his name's Jeff. Your toaster won't ma make it a shift to cuisine. What are you gonna do to him? I'll crack your droid open like an egg and scoop out his drumming yolk. No? Not ask your permission. You can hear a tin can, uh huh. Even the free room prize of the quad are soon enough to put me head on. Last chance. I won't give up freely. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Time for space shenanigans. Ship. Activate uh, ship wide security alert. Okay. Captain? Uh huh. Yes. Please don't let him take me. My heart that contains dromium. I will die. I don't know how to win him over. This ship's too powerful. He wouldn't stand a chance. I might have a plan. Uh huh. You could give him my body. What? What does that mean? I could transfer my brain matrix into the format of neural network chip. I have several of them stored in my research station. You can then transfer me into another hardware when you get home. The downside is that it will not function during the time downloaded on the ship. But the thing that is me will survive. Uh, yeah. Well, let's go for it. Start on my brain transfer immediately. It will take a while to get done, though. You might need to stall the intruders somehow. <laughs> okay. I suggest we start by locking the lower deck doors. Uh, okay. How do I lock them? Lock it. Keep the intruders busy a while. Alright. Alright. What was that sound? That was the sound of a shuttle docking your airlock. That was fast. How's that brain chance for coming? Just preparing, sir. You'll need to stall them somehow. Okay. Uh, hey, shuttle. Any ideas how to delay them? Oh no. Airlock is locked, sir. Alright. Green chip is installed. Now I just need to put the inflower connection power. Oh, okay. I don't like this. This is very stressful. Uh, okay. Main deck? Uh, I don't know what to do. Lab, maybe? Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Uh... Smoke development, okay. How do I make this? Acid and turbitol, heat and weight. Okay, what do I got? Turbitol, spore acid. Okay, nope, go back in. Mix, mix, mix. Okay. And then into the heater. Is it two to one? I have no idea. Okay. I think you can continue to look for yet another way to stall them, though. Yeah!
Or seems to be sucks, or I don't know. Oh my god. Half a ton. Oh, cool. Captain Beefcakes. Alright. Amazing, General. I know. Where's the droid? Okay. Alright, so we got that done. So we need a third method of delay. Uh, what can I do here? I don't know how else to stall them, my man. How can I stall them further? Oh no. It was disabled during a fire alarm. They can override it. Hold on. No fire is in place. No, uh, there's only power left. I don't... God damn it. I don't know what to do next to actually delay them. The service droid? I mean, I guess. Yeah. I could activate the little robot. Uh, the service droid panel. Yeah. Let's try it. Uh, clean the elevators. Yes. Go, little robot. Go. Does that work? <laughs> That'll hold them off for a while. Okay, I've succeeded. There. Now we can use the elevator during the fire alarm. What? The elevator's not working. Just override it. I try, but it's not working. These rings are quick. There's currently another droid controlling it. Almost ready now, Captain. Can you come over and help me uh, open my back so I can start to transfer? Oh, God damn it! Hey, maybe hustle a little bit, Captain? Great. Now we just have to start the actual transfer. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. 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 Please just let me press the button. This is very stressful for me. <laughs> you there? Did it work? I guess it did. He's not present in the body anymore. <clears throat> Hello. Oh, there's my little German container. So you've disabled your droid for me. Yeah, of course. His walking mechanics are still online, though. Rob? Uh-huh. Bring the droid. I want to lead this depressing pile of junk as soon as possible. Okay. You say dabs, but we're still losing a robot body. This little field trip actually entertained me somewhat. I might actually... Yes, I think I'll spare this one today. That's unusually kind of you, sir. I know, Rob. Sometimes I feel pity for the pathetic life forms like these. Now, before I leave, a warning. If I ever see you or your ship again, you will be shot down on the spot. Now, you've been warned, Captain. Let's go. Uh huh. Are you gonna. Okay. I was worried it was gonna, like, blast me backwards. Seems this unavoidable? I don't know how much. how unavoidable it was. We lost a Jeff, but we gained a Jeff on a ship. Alright. I have to manage without Jeff for a while now. Alright. Can I just... I just want to get to the place I wanted to go. I could probably confront them directly. Yeah, you probably could. And he would have super murdered us. Alright, so we get there. Cool. Hello! Captain. You've arrived at the transport space station. Neat. Uh, oop, there's the save. Okay, we're just gonna, we're, we're gonna end here for now. You quit, do that. Use, cast. Alright, well, that was... That's quite a game. 
A lot of extremely rough choices. Um, I like how they've streamlined that, though. So as you finish making said choices, you unlock a different path that you don't have to do again. I think that's really cool. Because then eventually you can, you know, quick travel through all of the various events that can happen. So I think that's really neat. Um, I don't know how I'm going to balance the whole, like, combat versus not combat thing. I think I'm going to try and not fight in this, this first run of this game. I think I'm going to attempt to not, not do additional murders. Super superfluous murders, shall we say? Wonder how easy that is? I have no idea. Probably not. Probably not. But we're going to try. Um... Yeah, that's going to do it for me tonight. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with, I don't know what, indie games, I guess. Unless I get an, uh, an itch to play more Dead Cells, which is an itch I kind of constantly have right now. Um, it probably makes other things harder, but I just mean the raw combat avoidance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it for me tonight. So, um, as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, wear your goddamn masks, get your vaccinations and your boosters. I know you can. Quite frankly, at this point, probably just avoid going out for a little bit. You know. Um, but yeah, I will see you next time.